Thank you for joining us for Morphex Technologies presentation of our Trace X Explosives Detection Training Kit. The Trace X Explosives Detection Kit is designed to help identify bombers, bomb makers, and their bomb making facilities. It detects most common explosive materials and their precursors at trace levels in one easy test. Homegrown and foreign terrorists continue to threaten our safety and security with homemade explosive devices, HMEs, and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The Trace X Explosives Detection Training Kit has been newly designed for military, law enforcement, and intelligence personnel training facilities and schools in response to the increasing need for homemade explosive material detection training. This training kit, in 10 easy steps, will train anyone in the proper use of the live detection kit. In today's training, we will be doing a hands-on demonstration on how to use the Trace X Explosives Detection Training Kit. Let's open up the training kit and see what's in it. As you can see, your Trace X Explosives Detection Training Kit includes a Trace X Explosive Detection Kit, a set of operating instructions, a blue plastic film, and a foil bag labeled Citric Acid Powder. This non-toxic and perfectly safe citric acid will be used to simulate an HME, and by testing it, we will be able to see how our kit works. First, lay the blue plastic film from the kit on a flat surface. Once you've done that, tear open the foil bag at the notched corner and pour the citric acid powder on the blue plastic film. Now, open the case of your detection kit and press the green dots to crush the wetting ampules. Wait 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, press down and immediately release the collector to moisten the collector plugs. Then, lift the handle and pick up the collector from the kit. Make sure not to touch the bottom of the collector. You don't want to contaminate it. Notice that there is a cover over the top of the collector, allowing you to place your finger for ease and use. There are three methods to collect your sample. The method you choose depends on the surface type and levels of sample. If you have a rough surface, dab the surface multiple times with your sample collector. If there is a bulk powder amount, dab the powder two to three times. Finally, if there is a trace powder amount, swab the surface thoroughly for 10 to 20 seconds in a figure eight pattern. Since we have a bulk powder amount here, we'll use the dabbing method. Now, make sure to snap the collector into the lid and align the red pointers on the collector and the crusher so that they match. Release the handle and push the black rib on the crusher to rotate the crusher from store to crush. Pull the handle sideways and remove the handle with the cover. Place the handle and cover in the plastic storage bag for disposal. Now, close the kit and ensure that the latch is locked. Crush the ampules by holding the kit in both hands and using your thumbs to forcefully press the lid in all four areas marked with an X. To make sure you get accurate results, remember to not reopen the kit. While the kit is latched, gently shake it for two seconds. After you've shaken the kit, lay it flat for three minutes and allow time for colors to form in the window. Be patient. In cold temperatures, it can take up to five minutes for colors to form. Look through the kit window for color change. As you can see on my kit, a purple color has formed, indicating an acid. After 10 minutes have gone by, you can disregard any additional color changes. You're done. Now you can dispose of the kit by placing it in the plastic storage bag. Make sure to dispose of the kit. Reusing or repurposing the kit will give you inaccurate results. If you have any additional questions, you can view our infographic here.
Contact us by phone toll free at 1-800-808-2234 or locally at 757-431-2260. You can also email us at sales at morphtech.com. Thanks for watching.